Hi, I'm Corey, and this is Bicycles in Buddhism. Are you a good person, an ethical person? Are you fair, honest, not selfish with those around you? Well, today we're going to learn about the five precepts and how they can help us to live a more virtuous life. Ethics are extremely important in Buddhism and form the basis of our practice. This is because by living an ethical life with the intention of not causing harm, we can have peace of mind and not be concerned with our actions, which will allow us to meditate effectively. The five precepts constitute the basic code of ethics in Buddhism, and they are expected to be followed by regular practitioners, or those who are not monks. The five precepts are to not kill, to not steal, to abstain from sexual misconduct, to not lie, and to abstain from intoxicants that cloud the mind. These precepts may come from the Buddhist tradition, but they are totally secular and can be practiced by anyone. We're going to go over each of these precepts in order to learn how we suffer when we break them and how practicing them can help us to be better people who live happier lives. The first precept is to abstain from killing living beings. This applies to humans, but also animals and even insects. Many Buddhists adopt a vegetarian diet with the recognition that consuming meat is no longer necessary. We also refrain from killing things like rats, cockroaches, and mosquitoes, and other quote-unquote pest animals. One way we suffer when we harm others is due to our ability to empathize or share their feelings. Whenever we hurt someone, there is part of us that understands and feels their pain, even if we are not consciously aware of it. And whenever we eat meat, there is part of us that knows it was once a living creature that would prefer to be alive. The second precept is to abstain from stealing, or taking what is not given. This means not stealing money or other physical objects, but it also applies to non-material things, like illegally downloaded music or movies or taking credit for someone else's ideas as your own. One way we suffer when we steal is due to our guilty conscience. Whenever we have deprived someone of something not given to us, this weighs on our minds and affects us. And if we become known as a thief or someone who takes advantage of people, others will treat us accordingly. The third precept is to avoid sexual misconduct, which includes rape, adultery, knowingly giving someone a disease, or otherwise harming them through sex. This precept also includes viewing others simply as objects for our sexual gratification, spending too much time fantasizing about sex, and also polluting our minds with pornography. If we spend all day thinking about having sex, we'll waste a huge amount of our time and energy which will prevent us from focusing on more important things, like self-improvement, and will also be unable to have healthy relationships with people, because we'll always be thinking about having sex with them. The fourth precept is to abstain from lying, knowingly deceiving someone, or otherwise misrepresenting the truth. Scams, white lies, making excuses, or telling something told in confidence are covered in this precept, as is self-deception. We suffer when we lie because people learn that they can't trust us, and this damages our personal relationships. And when we delude ourselves, we create unrealistic expectations that can harm us whenever we are forced to face reality. The fifth precept is to abstain from intoxicants, which cloud the mind. This means not consuming alcohol or other drugs that affect our ability to think clearly. This precept also includes the food we eat and drink as well as the sort of media we consume, which can be healthy for our minds or bodies, or not. We suffer when we consume intoxicants because we become unable to control our actions, and we end up harming ourselves or others as a result. And if we don't eat healthy foods, our bodies suffer. And if we consume too much or unwholesome television or other media, this can have an adverse effect on us psychologically. But if we do not consume intoxicants, we will be able to make wise decisions. And if we are mindful of the media we consume and have a healthy diet, we will naturally feel better, mentally and physically. As someone who used drugs for a long time, I can say I am much happier not being under the control of any substances. And rather than restrict my freedom, this precept actually gives me the free will to live the sort of life that I want. And if we avoid eating meat, we will reduce the amount of unnecessary suffering in the world, and we will also help the environment, 
as switching to a non-meat diet can reduce our carbon footprint. And if we practice not killing mosquitoes, cockroaches, or other pests, we will be training ourselves not to react with aversion or hatred to the things that we find unpleasant in life. If we do not put our sexual gratification before the welfare of others, we will be better able to harness the powerful energy of sex, and our relationships will become much healthier and more pleasurable. If we don't pollute our minds with pornography, we can appreciate the time spent with our partners, and we won't be stuck fantasizing in our heads. And by not objectifying them, we can connect on a much deeper level and truly get to know them. If we are honest, we won't have to worry about remembering any lies that we have told, and we won't have any guilt over them either, guilt which may very well be subconscious. Our personal relationships will become stronger because they will rest on a solid foundation of truth, and others will see us as sincere, genuine, and trustworthy individuals. If we do not steal, we will have a clean conscience, knowing that we have not harmed someone by taking what was not given to us. If we give credit where credit is due and don't try to pass someone else's work off as our own, we will make others feel acknowledged and appreciated. So, there are many benefits that come from practicing the five precepts. They help us to think about others and not be so self-centered, so that we can better live in harmony with the other beings we share the planet with. They also help us to recognize how our own behavior patterns negatively affect us, which allows us to do something about them. Practicing the five precepts can help us to become more at peace with ourselves and greatly improve the quality of our lives. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.